Calculating the number of atoms or molecules using Avogadro's constants, part one, by kscience.com. We've learnt from a previous video, one mole of a substance is always 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 of those atoms, molecules, or ions. So one mole always equals 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23. And 2 moles equals 1.20 times 10 to the power of 24. To go from 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 to 1.20 times 10 to the power of 24, you just put the 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 into your calculator and then times 2 using the calculator. You can also calculate 0.5 moles which equals 3.01 times 10 to the power of 23, which is just 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 divided by 2 in the calculator. Pause the video now to practice doing these calculations using your calculator, as these are calculations you will need to learn for your exam, and you need to know how to do them using a calculator. And finally, 10 moles just equals 6.02 times 10 to the power of 24. All you do is you multiply 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 by 10 in your calculator. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. So here's a practice exam question that you could get in your real exam. It is, calculate the number of moles of atoms in one mole of water molecules, H2O. So the question is telling us we have one mole of water molecules and we know one mole of water molecules equals 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 water molecules. We can see the chemical formula of water is H2O. There are three atoms, two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. And within that molecule, each atom is one mole of atoms. This means there's going to be 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 of each atom in a water molecule. So in this H2O molecule, we can see there are two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. So in total, there are three atoms. So because the question is asking us to calculate the number of moles of atoms, we do three atoms times one mole. This means that water has three moles of atoms. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Pause the video now to see if you can answer this exam style question. The answers will follow. Pause the video now to go through your answer by checking if your calculations are correct. Here is another exam style question which is a little bit different from the previous one. The question is to calculate the number of atoms in two moles of iron. So to do this, we need to know that one mole equals 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23. And this time the question is asking us to calculate the number of atoms in two moles of iron. So to calculate how many atoms are in two moles of iron, we do 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 times two. This will equal 1.20 times 10 to the power of 24 iron atoms in two moles. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding.
Pause the video now to see if you can answer this exam style question. The answers will follow. Pause the video now to go through your answer by checking if your calculations are correct. This is the last exam style question we're going to go through, where you have to calculate the number of atoms in one mole of oxygen molecules, O2. So we know one mole of oxygen molecules equals 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 oxygen molecules. And because there are two oxygen atoms in O2, oxygen, we do two oxygen atoms times 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23, which equals 1.20 times 10 to the power of 24 oxygen atoms in one mole of oxygen molecules. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. And don't forget to visit kscience.com for more videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.